Fear of God has been one of the most influential street-inspired brands over the last few years, and it continues to inspire new designers, brands, and even copycats. But as many of you know, the brand has went through several iterations. The grunge Jerry Boy look, the understated loungewear of essentials, and finally, its current iteration of layered minimalism. And of course, alternatives exist, but what about the ones in Japan? Yes, that's where we got you covered. What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual, and today we're talking seven Japanese alternatives to fear of God. But with that being said, let us get it. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one and assist us with some future episodes. It helps us out a ton and ensures you get the best versions of what we do here. First, we start with Mastermind Japan. This is a no-brainer. Masaki Honma's Mastermind was one of the first high street lines to ever do it, and has even done collabs with Fear of God in the past. Sporting bold graphics, skull motifs, and often incorporating luxury materials like cashmere and leather, Mastermind draws inspiration from punk and hip-hop culture, resulting in clothing that feels both rebellious and refined. It's way more in line with OG Fear of God, but with a more pronounced graphic influence. But the materials and make are certainly in line, if not better, than even this current version of Fear of God. And it mostly tends to be black, giving it a little slice of avant-garde mode seen in labels like Comme des Arsons. Next is Yulius, started by Tatsuro Horikawa. The brand is known for its avant-garde designs, featuring dark colors, unconventional cuts, and edgy details. It draws inspiration from Horikawa's background in music and art, and it results in clothing that feels more like wearable art than traditional fashion. In reality, Yulius feels more in line with Rick Owens. In fact, I'd say Yulius is about as close as you can get to Rick Owens, and since early Fear of God took hints from Rick Owens, you can probably see the connection here. However, for comparison's sake, Yulius takes a more experimental approach to design, with a focus on pushing boundaries and challenging norms. So wearing it means a little risk is involved, but it's a damn good risk. Next up is one of my personal favorites in Kazuyuki Kumagai or Attachment. Both brands started by Kazuyuki Kumagai. Both brands offer a minimalist take on menswear with clean lines, neutral colors, and simple yet refined details. Kumagai's design methodology focuses on creating clothing that is both comfortable and elegant, with a focus on high quality fabrics and subtle textures. In fact, I'd say this is the first brand so far that is as close to the current timeless iteration of Fear of God as it gets, and it's far more fleshed out due to being nearly 15 years Fear of God's senior. Attachment started in 1998, and the eponymous label Kazuyuki Kumagai started in 2003. Compared to Fear of God, both labels take an even more understated approach to design, with a focus on simplicity and minimalism. So it's not so far off, but Kumagai tends to have slimmer silhouettes overall. Coming in next is Glam, started by Kanfuriya. With a focus on distressed textures, vintage washes, and bold graphics, Glam draws inspiration from rock and roll culture, resulting in clothing that feels edgy, but approachable. Compared to Fear of God, Glam is basically Fear of God if it kept going in the grunge direction with a splash of Japanese modern silhouettes, which basically means it can get drapey at times. That said, it's certainly an interesting label that has more than enough fandom to pump out new and interesting collections every year, and it is really committed to its look as the brand hasn't changed its approach since 2003. Coming in at number three, we have Yoji Yamamoto. But not mainline Yoji Yamamoto, we're talking about the subline Sight. Sight is a diffusion label of Yoji Yamamoto, and it's a more contemporary take on the signature avant garde silhouette established by the main line, with a focus on basics and quality materials. While Sight does have its own distinct identity and design philosophy, it's still closely associated with what you might see on the runway. You're getting the drapey layering and a nod to mainline, but it's more approachable as it doesn't go all ham on nuanced design elements, which makes it right in line with the modern fear of God. In fact, for a unique styling option, Sight could hypothetically be combined with modern mainline fear of God for a more daring and dynamic style, and the quality of Sight is certainly on par, if not better. That said, Sight is far more on the avant-garde side of things, but nonetheless, it's an amazing starting point for anyone who wants to get into wider or billowy silhouettes. 
Coming in at number two, we have AF Artifact, founded by Akihiro Fuji. And it draws inspiration from the designer's background in architecture and design, resulting in clothing that feels both structured and fluid. AF Artifact is a bit like if OG Fear of God had a baby with Fear of God Essentials, but had a small fling with Rick Owens, so nobody knows who the father is, so they sent the kid to Japan and hope for the best. As a result, you get a brand that stands on its own and has a very distinct aesthetic. It's less boxy than modern Fear of God and more refined than OG Fear of God. And I'd say that's due to its Japanese design methodology. To be completely honest, AF Artifact is more like budget Rick Owens' Dark Shadow, but that doesn't mean it's cheap. It still comes in at a pretty good price tag, meaning it's kinda high. It's just cheaper than Dark Shadow, but with a ton of options. And finally, at number one, we got Ato, founded by designer Ato Matsumoto in 1993. And for all those millennials out there that remember these shoes, yes, that Ato Matsumoto. And if you continued following this label, you'd know for sure that Fear of God's modern interpretation is just what Ato has been doing since 1993, but with a more pronounced avant-garde edge that is a damn chef's kiss. Known for its blend of traditional Japanese design mixed with contemporary elements, the brand's aesthetic is edgy and innovative with asymmetrical cuts and unique silhouettes. One of the things that sets Ato apart is its use of unconventional materials and construction techniques. When pitted side by side with modern Fear of God, it's almost like looking at the Japanese version of it. And yet because of its own unique properties, it certainly stands on its own, much like Fear of God stands alone. This makes Ato more than enough to base an entire wardrobe after. It's less messy than modern Fear of God, for lack of a better term, going for a more refined approach, but it also doesn't take itself too seriously, which is an added benefit. Personally, Ato Matsumoto has been one of my favorite designers for years. The mix of contemporary and casual is near perfect, and the added complexity gives it a depth that few brands can replicate. It's amazing, so definitely check it out. And that's it for this list, but let us know what labels you liked on it or any other labels that you feel should have been on the list from Japan or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Or how about suggesting another topic for us to cover? Let it all be known in the comments. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onagaishimasu. And I will see you guys in a minute.